um, I'm a mentor for Tom and uh, I got asked to be one of the mentors uh, and uh, I actually did the project two years ago out of Cross Power and uh, so I was quite happy to come back and do it again because uh, it's an enjoyable week and uh, it's kind of just putting back a little bit back to the the mentorship I had with other people uh, sort of growing up and trying to pursue doing some art in my life basically. It's been interesting, uh, come with an open mind, sort of a, I guess you say organic process. I turn up, see what ward that we get given, and the young man, what he wanted to do and uh, basically he, he was interested in doing some spray painting but also he wanted to do something related to his family name so we've ended up uh, making making some t-shirts for his family with the, with the design that we both put together and uh, also we've painted a few walls and he's basically come to work with me and uh, helped me do some of my own jobs that I had to uh, get done yeah I think these projects are uh, really important because it's kind of about, I guess for me, the most important thing is building links between young people and practicing artists and making sure that people don't fall through the gaps and that they actually get an opportunity to see what's out there and available for them to pursue in their lives. I don't, I don't necessarily think that, um, you know, like because you get, get a kid to mentor for a week, they're going to turn into an artist necessarily, but it's basically giving them the, the benefits of your experience and trying to pass that on in a way that they, they can digest and understand. I'd just like to say that, um, like I said, these things are really important. They, they actually, um, I guess they, they, they're the weave of who we are. I mean, when you meet people from across town, from different families, and spend a week together working, you become friends and you build alliances and you basically make community. And that's what it's about. About, about sharing knowledge and, and uh, experiences. Just as a mentor to um, my student Natasha and um, yeah just to work with skills that she already has which is painting um, and just to show her more techniques of what she can use when she's at home or on her course. It's been really cool working with all the other students and tutors because um, as I've been working with my student we're all seeing what everyone else is doing and so, you know, starting to get an idea of um, the things that you can do. And I said, oh, you know, this, that's what this is about. Don't be afraid to be, get inspired by what someone else is doing. Like a, if they're doing a little um, brush stroke or a certain type of um, painting technique. Don't be afraid to borrow that. And because you're not copying, I said to you, you're not copying. You're just, you're just taking that little aspect and using it in your own work. When they see like the different um, types of people that come in and like the speakers and the artists and when we all share our experience, life experiences like what we might have been getting up to at their age like you know we weren't we probably weren't doing what we're doing now we're just doing the same thing but um, just wanting something better yeah better to aspire to in, in life. This week I've been a mentor to a young man called Irumi. I've been learning Nothing has changed since I was Ironi's age and opportunities for children, uh, mainly young Polynesian kids in South Auckland and the other South Aucklands of our country are still frustrated and stuck in a position of helplessness and it breaks my heart. My Life philosophies are to try and not be a slave to the machine. So I look for stuff that is creative and shearing. It's a natural thing that we did before we were colonized. We look after the young and then, then they look after us when we're old.
it's, it's, be, it's like being with my family and laughing and joking and being serious all in the same breath. So it's like going home really, in a city full of uh, upstarts. It's, it's good to connect. Well, this is my third year with the uh, Solid Project and every year my kids are always awesome. They get really get into the, you know, the weaving side of it because I don't think they'd ever have a chance otherwise. So um, yeah, I think that's big ups to Sarah for that because she's, you know, focused on what the kids are into, which helps them, and then that helps us. So it's always good. Oh, this week's been really cool. It's, it's always, you know, pretty relaxing. <laughs> we just, uh, you know, we just been kahirang been working together, and it's been awesome. You know, and, and she's pretty chill and she's got mean as manners. So it's always been, you know, really nice to, you know, go into the gallery and then come back home and do our mahi. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, I'm one of the mentors. My, I suppose my speciality is painting, but art in general. But um, I've come to do a graffiti mural with the kid that's been chosen to work with me for the week. So uh, this is the third time I've done it. and. Uh, it's always good, so I'm always going to keep coming back. I was just approached by uh, Sarah Longbottom, who's uh, the powerful force behind the whole project. And it just sounded like a good idea. I sort of feel like I've been given a quite a few lucky breaks in my life, so it's, um, I think it's, it's only right that I sort of pass it on and one of these kids gets a lucky break to be part of the course. Then um, oh, I'm glad to take on the responsibility and work with them. And, as long as they show up on time, I'll return that uh, sign of respect by showing up on time and working hard to get a job done with them. It's been amazing, but when I when I first started, um, Walkie, who's a, who's a kid I'm working with, he was very shy. I could hardly get a word out of him, so we just spent a day sort of getting to know each other, um, trying to find out where his head was at, what type of thing he wanted to do. Um, we came up with this idea, he's involved with the church, so we thought a portrait of Jesus would be quite nice. Um, so I went looking for images, but I wanted to do something a bit more arty, and I didn't want to do sort of something too Jesus-y. I wanted to bring it back down to this sort of iconography, which is the artwork that I like. And, um, and then on the second day we did a trip to the City Art Gallery, which was amazing. It really blew his mind a little bit to look at the great New Zealand masters and international art and sculpture and just to let him know that art doesn't have to be one thing or another. It's whatever you, whatever you, uh, whatever you feel, you can put it on a canvas or put it on a wall and it becomes art if you do it with a bit of passion. So um, we came back and, and ripped into it. And now me and Walkie are great mates. He's talking much more. He's opened up quite a lot in the week. And that's what I notice the most. He, he starts shy and he uh, comes to fruition. And it only takes a week, really. It only takes a week to spend some quality time with someone who is, uh, I don't know, maybe that he gets told he's useless so often he'll start to believe it. But if I tell him he's awesome often enough, he'll start to believe that instead. I think this kind of thing is really important and the one-on-one -on -one is a really powerful means to, to get through to someone because I've done similar things where there's been a whole bunch of kids and I've been trying to teach and work with so many different people, you get a bit lost and you're trying to spend too much time so I think the, the best part of this is the focus, it's the one-on-one, -on -one, the mental system really works so I think that's um, the most powerful weapon of this project is one-on-one. -on -one. You can completely absorb yourself in, the, in one person. Um, it was to meet the rangatahi and um, give them new perspectives in art making and there was something that was interesting for me because this is my first time. I just had to go back to all the teachings that I've been taught from, from different art schools and reflect on that and try incorporate that with the teaching program that I was doing now at Solo Project. It's been really cool as like the people here is like feels like a family. You know, the beginning was like, oh I don't know, don't know. But now it's like getting to the final days it's like it's been like you know real kickback and relax. All about bringing what's what's really good within the youth, something that they've always had when they were born and the mentors just have to regain their voice through this program and I thought there was to be a part of it, it seems really inspirational. Ko 
Joshua Wittri Pakiahu. I am Joseph's mentor. I worked for Auckland City Council doing an alternative education program using uh, this vehicle for moving young men from being external to the mainstream education to other putting them into a pathway that set them onto their own course of life, all back into mainstream education. And I met Sarah and decided that it would be better to work for her rather than trying to do her job as well as being a mentor. Personally, the most successful because I see the potential in Joseph, if you want to look at it from that perspective. I see the potential to go on to do something creative as a job. He has the skills and the application of time and concentration to go off and do it on his own now. He didn't necessarily need me this week. So it was more like I was a facilitator. I think that's what makes it the most successful. Um, it's, it's always stressful just because you've got to make sure that everything's right because at the end of the day it's about, it's about, like I tell you, it's not about us as adults feeling pampered as artists. So it's stressful and then you have a Friday and the young man you're working with is sitting painting by himself in a room by himself which makes me feel like I've done my job, it makes me proud. I think Sarah Longbottom is second to none. I've never met somebody who can have as much art or heart and have the same co-puffer that I had for the money with that I can tell you. She is professional, but she still has this art or heart empathy for the kids and she knows how to work a room of kids. Um, I think the Marangatahi Tua bridges the gap between mainstream education, alternative education, and the pathways for them to after they leave all three. If she had the funding and the facilities, she could do things that are far more positive than just one week. I think she also, her presence also highlights the holes in all three institutes that I talked about. Joe's awesome. I have been uh, called upon to mentor one-on-one uh, -on -one with a student, Natahi, for this week. His name is Joseph Silipa. And yeah, just guiding him along, uh, kind of working with him together, you know, to create a project ultimately to be shown in the exhibition. Next week, working together. It's really yeah, exciting. Just keeping things in focus, you know, it's been great. It's really important, you know, I've been talking with Tony, who facilitates the, the young people, picks them up, drops them off, drives them around, spends time with them once a you know, because they, they don't really uh, fit in well at school. At normal schools, so um, normal. So these programs are absolutely necessary for um, for these kids that fall through the certain cracks to realise their potential. Mm. So it deserves a full support of of you know all the community, and, and and we have got that. You know, everything from discounts on on spray paint and materials to. Uh, my technician in the, in the metal workshop at Elam helping us for three hours, you know, things like that. Once you tell people about this, they love it and they help, they're willing. Thanks to Tokai Pacific Arts Trust, Christina, and all of those people over there, like, they're just awesome, awesome people. Uh, the Solid Project, obviously it's, um, you know, it's always rewarding to, you know, work with the Rangatahi of today to kind of see where they're at, what influences them. For me, being able to bring some of, you know, life's experiences, you know, I enjoy working with the youth of today, mainly because I like to see what's happening, you know, what's happening now on the streets. I may not quite be in touch with these days. Our week has been, um, you know, it's been really cool. For me, Jodice says, oh, you know, we're going to do Biggie and Tupac. I'm down with that, you know. So I've really enjoyed it because it's allowed me to explore these things that I've always been into.